Hey, sneaky like that today. Today we've got Congoni. Now, Congoni is a Slackware-based distro from South Africa. And we're going to have a look around a little play and see its little quirks. Now, this is an alpha one. An alpha. I'm going to repeat that. It's an alpha. So there are going to be a few little problems. But on the whole, I didn't find many, to be honest with you. Kind of with KD as its desktop, as you can see. So and all your panels and your widgets and your doobies and your rubies and whatever you say. So we'll put a widget in anyway. Just to show you that it works. Which was um, I don't know, let's see, so many, so many. I don't know, what should we have? Oh, oh, what should we have? Um, 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 oh no, we'll go, we'll go for the clock section. We'll go for the clock. What's Lancelot? Lancelot Launcher. Okay, that's a new one on me. I'll look that up. What clock, what clock should we have? Uh, binary? No, we'll have analog. Analog. Now I'll put it here. Look at this. Whoosh. What a clock, man. Fills a quarter of the screen. Nice, though. I can't forget the time, can I? Mm. So, yeah. Your widgets work, anyway. That is quite a nice clock, actually. I'll just take the mickey, but it is quite nice, yeah? I rather like that. Yeah. Might get on my own, actually, saying that. That's rather cool. Anyway, we'll get rid of that. We'll click the cross. We'll go and do something else. So we'll go down to the menu, as I said before, KDE Amrock, Dolphin, Pigeon, K-Spread. Use the K-System here. Nearly all of the software here is completely free. It's not partly free, if you know what I mean. So there's different stuff here that maybe some of you won't be used to, so it's nice to have a look around, isn't it? Uh, go to Utilities, what's we have got Private Assistant, Group Where, blah de blah de blah Archiving Tool, Automatic Mouse Click, Desktop widgets, pop up no I don't like them pop up. Do you like them pop up notes? I don't, I think they're bloody horrible. Oh, speech synthesizer front end as well. That's pretty good if you want somebody to read it to you in a metallic voice, so to say. G Part is there as your partition manager. Desktop sharing. Info center. Kahoni instant setup system. Very interesting. I've used that before actually, by the way. A bit earlier when I was doing a little bit of testing before I done this. System monitor. Now as you can see, quite a lot of processes. Not using much CPU, only 169 of RAM as well. And I've got half a gig here, and I've got a gig of swap as well. I gave it a gig of swap because it's actually installed on the hardy drivey, as they say. I couldn't get it to go to my resolution in my screen, it won't go high enough. I've tried both the X drivers, and they both wouldn't do what I wanted to do. So that's another one for me to work on, really. But as I said before, it is in alpha. Right, GDK styles, fonts, and themes. Usual, yeah, but it's nice to see it. Oh, look, instant rule set. It's a little fix for Firefox and Thunderbird. Very interesting. Hmm, OK, we'll click OK. Come out of there. Where should we go next? I'll tell you what. Oh, we've got to Office. Here we go. All oh, there, document viewer, painting and imaging, if I could say that properly. Scalable graphics. Your spreadsheets, your word processor, more applications as formula editor, and a thesaurus. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm a dinosaur. Multimedia, as I said before, M Rocks, your baby, K3B, oh, I love that program. Jack, I still can't get to bloody work, and whatever one I use him. Dragon Video Player, very nice. I have used that before. It didn't work in all distros, but it seems to work in this one, so that's nice, isn't it, really? Okay, look. browser servers, GUI, feed readers, mail client is K Mail, I'm afraid. You get your two web browsers, Firefox and Conqueror. So we're going to open the Fox up. And I'll try and get full screen, and that's all you get. Even when I do the keyboard key, it, nothing happens. I couldn't actually get it to go to full screen. So that's one little problem that has to be sorted out. What I'll do, I'll try again in Conqueror to see if it has the same problem. But we'll make sure Firefox works properly first, shall we? So I'm just going to go to the Bibica, as I normally would. Because it's a big page, lots of colours, and it's normally bloody slow because so many people read it. Oh, it's not too bad today, look. Honky Konky. Okay, so I'm going to try and well, maximise it. <coughs> and this is what happens. It drops down and it still don't fill the screen. I try and drag it over. It does that. Oh, bit of a bummer. But as I said before, it's an alpha. So you can't have everything. Anyway, I tried it in Conquer as well. That will open them up. Go straight to their page. And this is what I'd like to try. Install new programs with Pig. We'll come to that in a minute. Can fix some settings with KISS, I've done that before, done a video, etc, etc. But yeah, that's okay, okay. Go and visit their page and we'll do it, we'll do it. I'll do it for you, should I? Look. 
tells you all about it and how it's done. Remember I said before, it's based on Slackware. Now, the reason, the thing they're using to download programs is PIG, and I'm going to come to that in a minute, but it doesn't use an ordinary Slackware system. It's more like a Unix system where you get ports, like BSD, you get ports, you know what I mean. If you've used it before, you know what I'm saying. But we'll come to that in a second. Anyway, that's the browser bit out of the way, really, isn't it? Anyway, applications. Development. Translation of web development. A Conda console. Patches for your front end. QT designer. Modelers. Plenty there. But I'm going to put in pig. Because I want to see the pig. Now, when I clicked on pig, watch. I thought, oh no, that's not going to work. So I wait, and it goes straight to terminal. I thought, oh, now I've not done this in BSD for hardly at all, to be honest with you. And I'm not used to the system, so I was actually getting out of my depth. So it was time to get out of the books and have a read, wasn't it? After I'd done the video, of course. So I thought, oh, we'll leave that anyway. And also the GUI come up, and I thought, oh, okay, thank God for that. So anyway, here we go. We'll search for a program. Bear in mind, I've never used this system before. I'll probably record my desktop. And hit the enter key. And nothing happened. So I thought, hmm, I'm obviously doing something completely wrong. And it's my fault. And it was. It's me. It's me. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing, basically, here. So anyway, after I'd done the video, I was going to have a little read anyway. And just find out what the bloody hell I'm doing wrong. Now, even when I clicked available packages, nothing happened, mate. Nothing was going to happen. It weren't going to happen. Happen not, not happening. You know what I'm saying? So that's one bit is their fault, and this bit's my fault. But yeah, it, GUI when it does come up comes up rather nice. Now, create a port. So we yeah, give that one a go. So, okay, we'll click OK, and what we get is this. And I don't know what you are to go to because I've not looked up enough. Have I? I've not researched this one enough. I thought it was going to be all GUI, and it isn't. You do need to put a bit of work in when you're using it, but it is an alpha. But hey, that's that, by the way. Now, this is why I like Linux. Sometimes you get to these problems, and you go, right, I'm going to have to solve them. I'm going to get that to work, and this is why I like all these little problems to come up. And now you've just seen one in the video. Brilliant! You do... What was that? Time scripts. You can do that for changing your time, etc., etc. Get rid of that. There's enough of that one. What else we got there? Not a lot, really. Oh, kiss. That's the kiss thing. There we go. Just don't know. Geeks only. What's this? So I opened up Geeks only, and it's for your network. So if you want to change it, disable roaming network and use Slackware style network instead. So you could do that if you wanted to. That's all right. That's a bit different, isn't it? But hey, on the whole, it's rather nice. If they can get the browser thing working, I think that will be. It. Very, very, very good indeed. Games, your standard games, toys, KT timer. If I could download more, I would do so. I might do one later. Image scan applications, that's cool. New paint programs, as I said before. It's coming at the end of the video now, so don't worry about it. Screen capture program, nice. But that's only for static shots. That's not like a, a video. And that's around about it. But on the whole, KDE works rather well with this, I thought. And the neck connects on its own automatically. Wicked. So, we'll go to Conquer once more before we finish. Tell you, go, and, go and look at the website to find out for yourself. I really like it. Sneaky Linux is now going to have a cup of tea. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.